And we had it all. We had weather delays. We had large leads. We had comebacks. And a one-goal finish doesn't get much better. I mean, amazing. Eight-game win streak to win the title. Probably the best run in ML history for, to win a Steinfeld Trophy. I mean, I, I think this is as good a game as you will ever see in lacrosse. I, I mean, it had it all. Like you said, I, there was drama because of the delay. There were comebacks. Uh, game of runs. Game, game of runs. You saw an 11-1 run by Denver. Uh, this was as good as any lacrosse game you will ever see. And so let's show the people, if you didn't watch it on CBS Sports Network, how everything went down. It started as a nice evening down in Kennesaw, Georgia. 7 p.m. start for Ohio and Denver squaring off. Ohio looking for its first ever title. Denver looking for its second in three years in the machine. They had it working early. Kyle Harrison getting on the board first. But Denver would come back. Wes Burke going to work. Scotty Rodge coming out of the crease. We saw him do that a couple of times at the beginning of the game, unsuccessful. And so we're all tied at two, but John Grant Jr. First, first time he touches a rock in this game, uh, and it's a goal. At this point, we're all watching uh, and saying, uh-oh, you know, <laughs> he might be going off now. 29th career postseason goal that tied the MLL record at the moment, makes it 3-2, and writes off the next faceoff, tic-tac-toe for the Peter Baum score. Peter Baum was really feeling it in the first half. That made it 4-2, and then great passing once again. Brian Karalunas, first goal of the season. Everyone scoring. Take another look at this. Marcus Holman, a BTB that's, pass. That's just the chemistry that that's all those trust. guys have. Yeah, the BTB, knowing that he's there. Nice G by Karalunas in transition. So 6-2 after one quarter, Ohio in the lead. But start of the second, here comes Denver. Thomas Kelly. So the Outlaws are going to come back here, right? Well, not so fast. Here's Mr. Bomb again. Second goal of the game. Makes it 7-3 to three machine. But Jack Kelly. Oh, just in the nick of time. Hanging in there. No goal. And it goes to 7-3 machine. Holding on to that lead. Later, how about this finish from Tom Schreiber? Driver around the world this finish. This was absurd. Oh, just nuts. Another look. I mean, that's unbelievable. We had to watch that two or three times before we figured out exactly what happened. And uh, apparently, it also brought the rain. The lightning. lightning started, and then the rain, and oh, it was ugly. Wow. Get him, get him, security. <laughs> All <laughs> sorts of craziness going on in the field. The delay, though, an hour and 37 minutes coming out of it. Here comes Denver, 4 nothing run, as you saw Mike Bocklet, Bocklet, then Drew Snyder, and how about Eric Law, 4-0 run coming out of the delay. All of a sudden, Denver's back within two at 9-7, and things got worse for Ohio. Peter Baum goes down with what looked like some type of hamstring injury. Just as everyone was tweeting about injuries and, you know, the potential there, uh, Baum goes down, it definitely hurt them. And so he would be out for the rest of the game, but the machine would respond. A 5 nothing run to end the half here. You saw Marcus Holman, Tom Schreiber, now Steel Stanwick makes it 14-7 at the break machine. And they were cruising, and Scotty Rogers started this making some saves. This is a shaft save. That's unbelievable. And so it looks like Ohio's in control, but Denver just would not go away. How about Eric Law? He was huge, makes it 14-11, and the run would continue. Drew Snyder steps in for a two ball. They're back within one for the first time since the game was tied at two. And then another goal, this time from Greg Downing. We're knotted up at 14 apiece, an 8-1 third quarter for Denver. And we continue to go back and forth now, and Denver would continue to Pick it up, Westberg, his second goal of the game. Makes it 16-15. Bachlet getting that stick up in traffic. <laughs> he was amazing all night. And that leads to this. It's Irish on Irish crime there, Travis. Oh yeah, Matt Cavanaugh beating Scotty Rogers. An 11-1 run for Denver at one point. But then, the machine working. You saw a goal there, and then Greg Piscolgian. To John Grant Jr. Oh, just it's the so hesitation, subtle. stick and head fake, and then still bounces it. I mean, amazing what he can do. And then three straight as Jake Bernhardt ties things up at 18. 
So we're tied down the stretch. Under two minutes to go. Kevin Naughty, he's got it, right? Wrong. No. In the crease. Very close. And no challenges because there's no timeout, so the game continues. Oh, man, I'd still like another look at that one. That was very close. Really close. At the other end, Ohio a chance to take the lead, but Jack Kelly. Man, he didn't have a lot of saves, but he stepped up when he needed to. And then Eric Law. It's Eric's Law. The game winner with under 13 seconds to go. That gives the Outlaws the championship. And what's crazy about this play is that he thought Sieverts was shooting the ball, uh, looking for a rebound potentially, and just snatches it out of the air uh, as Sieverts decide, decides to pass it down low. And that's what Eric Law does. I mean, he catches and finishes right on the crease. I mean, he's done it his entire career. Put the team on his back, though. I mean, he's one oh, of the yeah. hottest shooters in the league. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Eric Law, four goals and three assists, all of which came after the weather delay. We might as well just call him the Rain Man because he made it happen in the rain. 19-18, your final as Denver wins its second Steinfeld Cup in the last three years. We mentioned Law, Snyder, Four goals and an assist. Matt Cavanaugh, he had the one wiped off that might have been the game winner with under two minutes to go. Still got his at three and two.